I'm walking back to Lynn Edwell um, this morning because yesterday I didn't get the shot that I wanted. So I've come back to Lynn Edwell um, to try and get some more cloud in the shot. And there's definitely more cloud this morning. That's the good thing. But the bad thing is, it's a lot windier today. So the lake is not still. I don't know if you can pick it up. But there are lots of mini waves on the lake, so there's no reflection. Um, so it doesn't look like I'm gonna get this shot anyway. But it was about half an hour drive to get here and another about 15 minute walk from the car park. So while I'm here, I might as well attempt a few photographs anyway. And it's a beautiful surrounding. So there's so many opportunities here. I'm bound to get a shot today, um, even if I didn't get the one I wanted. I've just got to find a nice composition and set up the camera and wait. Should get some nice photos this morning. This heather in, in July is absolutely stunning. Have a look at this. Have up all the lichens on the rocks and the mosses and the, the heather, it looks amazing, but it's just trying to find the composition for all that to work together with the mountains in the background. It's so beautiful up here, there's so many opportunities and photos everywhere. It's endless really, it's all around you. So I'm going to try and find my photo, just wait for the light. And there should be ample opportunity around here to get the good shot. I've found my composition now, which is this nice little heather bush in the foreground. And then we've got that small bit of island jetting out um, in front of it. And then we've got these mountains in the background up there. So, it's really cloudy at the moment. There's a lot of cloud where the sun is, but it's very patchy. So there are occasions where the sun keeps popping out and there's some lovely light over on the mountains over that side, but nothing on those mountains at the moment yet. So I'm just waiting for the light. Um, I've got settings of um, ISO 100 to give me the best um, possible quality um, with very little noise. I have F16 um, to give me good sharp depth of field from this bush right in front of the camera all the way into the mountain to the background. I've been here about 45 minutes now but uh, ever hopeful as usual we might get a glimpse it's going to be seconds if anything um, if the sun just pops through and if it does It'd be a lovely photo. But all around you can see clouds going at the at the mountains. It's, it's so stunning. There's amazing photos everywhere you look. Yeah, I can see some light on that mountain again, but just not on this one. It just keeps teasing me. It's over there. But uh, fingers crossed, we'll get it. Well, there's a bit of light just Coming on the background, I don't think it's going to be enough to fill in the mountain as it's gone. Um, one thing to note is that I've got my camera set up ready. I've taken a, a, a rough exposure of what it's, it's going to look like without the light and I've compensated for it so the light doesn't blow out because it's going to be very bright 
against everything else that's in shadow. I don't really want to burn out the highlights on this. So I've set up the camera ready with those settings I've just gone through um, because when the light comes, the, the, the wind is blowing the clouds very fast. So it could be one second, two seconds, something like that. So you don't really get much opportunity to get the shot. So you don't want to be faffing around looking for a composition or getting your exposure uh, correct or anything like that. So it's about getting in the right place, being ready, and then just waiting for the right moment. Sun's now on me, I can see it, but it's not on the background. Okay, the light is coming behind me now and it's lighting up those mountains, so I'm gonna take the shot now. <laughs> yes, I got it, it's a beauty. Have a look at this. Not bad, eh? It's so, so lovely up here. There's no one around. It's, it's just me. And a sheep. Too cheap, sorry. Um, it's a shame no one else is seeing how beautiful this is. I'm happy now. Got my shots. I've now been here for four hours. Um, it's worth the wait. Um, I'm getting a bit hungry now, so it's time to go back for some breakfast. And then uh, might have a little sleep. Well, I've just had a quick chat to a couple of lovely guys. Um, they were just going for a walk, and I just managed to grab them, take a photo. Um, I've asked if they they wouldn't mind standing in the, the shot, and uh, they're very kind to oblige. So they were stood there for about two minutes waiting for the light. Um, normally I take ages taking a photo, but um, when you got someone waiting, I couldn't. But that's really kind of them. Um, I'm glad they stopped. Everyone seems to be very friendly up here. It's, uh, I think everyone should come up, I think, every now and then. It's uh, very peaceful and blows the cobwebs, as they say. Right, I found another shot um, on the way down. Um, there's a little stream behind me. I don't know if you can see. I'll get you in that. Um, it's snaking through the scene, so that gives a lovely leading line up to uh, the mountain Peniolwyn at the back. The sun is to my left and there's a lot of cloud um, which gives some um, dappled light on the mountain behind me. Um, so I'm just waiting now until it, the sun lights up Peniolwyn and then we'll get some beautiful shots here I think. So today has been very successful, I've got lots of great images. Um, I still haven't had my breakfast yet, so uh, my tummy's rumbling. Let me talk you through what I've got on this shot. It's ISO 100, F16 and 13th of a second. Um, so I'm just waiting for the light and then that exposure gives me a good exposure for the foreground um, down here and then as soon as the light hits the mountain it should lighten that up. It's a bit dark at the moment so when the light hits it the exposure should be correct. So fingers crossed. I think I'm going to call it a day now. The light is still beautiful um, but I'm getting hungry. Um, go back get some breakfast and then maybe get some shots later on. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you liked the video. Um, if you did, please give a thumbs up. Um, and if you want to see more photos like those and more videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.
Ugh. There's a slug on a poo. Gross. I shall call him Pat. <laughs>